Here are the top five ways the pros use to lighten their videos in Final Cut Pro that are easy enough for a beginner. I'll show you how to brighten a video in four fast clicks, and I'll show you how to use this little known waveform to avoid blowouts. And be sure to stay till the end for a quick drag and drop lighten effect. Select your dark clip in Final Cut Pro and open up the inspector. If you don't see it over here on the right hand side, just click this button right here with the three sliders on it or press command four to open it up. Then click on the color inspector right here. It's this triangle and then click on exposure. And now we can lighten our video. We can use this control right here to lighten everything. The dark parts of the video, the light parts and in between. So you'll see it's getting lighter. I can also increase the brightness of just certain parts of the video. So we'll do our highlights here with this control. And we can do the midtones a little bit to brighten it up. And then this are the shadows, the dark parts of our video. I can also click and drag up and down on these numbers down here to change the value. Or I can double click on it and enter a value. If I need to reset it, I can click on this little hooked arrow up here and it will reset all of those adjustments back to zero. Now you gotta be careful. You don't wanna go too high or you're gonna blow out your image like so. So there's a tool we can use. It's called the Luma Waveform. Click up here where it says view and then select video scopes or just press command seven to open up the video scopes. This is the Luma waveform. If you don't see it, click on this graph button right here, select waveform and then select Luma. This shows us the light and intensity in our video and it goes from the left side across to the right. You'll see we have a bunch of blue right there and that matches up with the blue over here on the left. You want to do your best to keep your values in between zero and at most a hundred. So let's play with this and you'll see it move. I'm going to use the global parameter and I'm just gonna bring that up and you'll see I'm moving all of it together at once. If I just bring up the highlights, you'll see just the top part moves up and then we can shift a little bit with the mid tones as well. And I can pull the dark shadows down a little bit closer to zero. And then if I want, I can just shift it all a little bit with the global parameter. There we go. Nice, I've lightened my video without blowing it out and going to all white. All right, there's another way to lighten your video. Go to the color inspector and click on this arrow right here where it says no corrections and select color wheels. Now I have these controls, these four controls for color and brightness. These gray strips on the right hand side of these circles is my brightness and I can use those just like the color board to make it brighter or darker. I can do all of it at once with global or I can work on the highlights at first and then the midtones, and then the shadows. There's also controls down here at the bottom. I'll click on show and you'll see I have a brightness slider. That's connected to this brightness control on the right hand side. So I can decrease it or increase it. I can also double click on it and put in a specific value. I can click this hooked arrow to reset it down here and up here. Keep in mind this hooked arrow will reset any changes you've made to the color wheel, including color direction and saturation. I can do the same thing for shadows with the brightness slider, midtones, and the highlights. I'm gonna select my color wheels and press delete to remove it. Then I'll click on no corrections and I'll go to color curves. This top one here will control our brightness. If I click and drag on this circle, I can make everything brighter. And for this top one, if I bring it down, I'll make things darker. I can also drag it to the right and left to tweak which parts I increase and which parts I don't increase in brightness. If I click on the line, I can create a point and then I can pull that up to increase brightness. I can click on this hooked arrow here to reset any changes I've made. And then I can use this eyedropper to select specific parts that I want to increase. So let's say I want to brighten up his face. I'll just click and drag right there a little bit and it creates a point on the graph. Now I can bring that part up in the graph. I can also add another point. I want this dark or this background to be dark. So I'm just going to click, I'll click on the background and it creates a point and now I can pull that down while keeping his face more bright. All right, select color curves and delete it. Have I shed some light on this subject? <laughs> if so, will you please give this video a thumbs up? Not for that joke, for the video though. Thanks, I appreciate it. And in just a second, I'll show you that cool drag and drop effect you can use. But first, I wanna look at this color adjustments tool. And here's one more way you can adjust the brightness. Select color adjustments. This is a bunch of different controls with just sliders. And immediately we can use exposure to change that brightness of the image. I can also use this brightness slider to do something similar. And then I can control the highlights and make them brighter or the shadows I can bring up a little bit as well. Nice, there we go. So here is our before and then our after. Sometimes you just need a quick fix. So open up the effects browser and then go to the color board presets section and just drag and drop brighten onto your clip. That looks bad, we need to tweak a little bit. 
You'll see what it did is it added a color board with preset spots for our highlights, midtones, and shadows. But for our video, this is too much. It looks a little too crazy. And if we look at the Luma waveform, we can see all our shadows are just crushed down here below zero. So let's bring our shadows up a little bit to right around zero. There we go. And let's bring our midtones down just a little bit and our highlights we can adjust as well. All right, that looks pretty good. So your mileage may vary with that brighten effect, but it's a nice quick effect to use. High quality video is so important. I put together five pro pointers on improving video quality in Final Cut Pro. Click here to check it out.